Hi, this is Matt with UAV America. We're here today with 3D Robotics' new X8 Plus. Uh, we're going to do an unboxing and kind of go through some of the some of the things you're going to find in here. Now inside here we've got a X8 Plus operations manual. We've got our flight checklist, nicely written. Put that aside for now. Uh, we've got the transmitter, and then in these boxes here, this one's got our propellers and AA batteries for the transmitter, and some telemetry radio cables. This other box, we've got our battery and charger. The battery is a four cell, 10,000 milliamp hour pack. It's already got the connector on it, and they've already put Velcro on it, which is nice. Another nice thing that 3DR has done with this is they've used these FR Sky transmitter and receiver modules, and those are sending Pixhawk telemetry real time down to the transmitter. We've got everything out of the box here. We've got the X8, we've got the battery, the transmitter, the transmitter module, the 3DR telemetry radio. You're also going to need to supply a number two Phillips screwdriver and a five and a half millimeter nut driver or a wrench. We'll start by taking the foam off of these guys. Let's see, there's a couple of things we're going to have to assemble here. First one, we'll start with this right rear arm here. We're going to unscrew the thumb nut from the bottom. Take that screw out. Pull the arm into position. And you want to take care as you put this bolt through to, so you don't smash the ESC wires which run down the inside of the arm. Put the bolt in. Thumb screw on. Snug it down. Now we attach the landing gear. Same as the vertical bolt. Take care not to squish those ESC wires which are running down the arm. And we'll put the nut on the other side. Snug those up. No, you don't want to go too tight on those. You'll feel it start to squish the arm if you go too tight on it. So just snug. Now we've got all four legs attached. We can take a look at the X8 Plus here. Um, some of the differences you'll notice if you're familiar with the 2013 or, or, or uh, the old standard X8, regardless of the year. Um, the biggest one in my eyes is the frame. They've really stretched this frame out. It gives you the ability to get the battery back far enough. That was one of the shortcomings with the old frame, is you couldn't get the battery back far enough to balance any sort of payload on the front. Um, they're also using Sunny Sky motors, slightly larger motors, a little heavier duty than what, we've, what we're used to seeing. Um, this has got the Pixhawk on it, obviously, which they've been shipping with for a year or so now, but you know, used to have the APM on it. And we talked earlier about the uh, FR Sky telemetry, which is a really nice feature. Now we're going to... GPS. We'll come over and take a look at the bottom. And you'll notice it's all pre-wired for all the FPV stuff. We've got the Minim OSD plug, FPV battery, video transmitter. Everything's pre-wired. It's really, really a nice, nice setup they've done here. I mentioned earlier about the telemetry module. I did take the time to install this included 8 AA batteries off camera, so that is one step you're going to have to do. Uh, so you take your transmitter, we're going to take our module, 
and line it up with the back here. And you can see there's male pins right here that fit right into these female pins there. So you want to be kind of careful when you're lining it up. Just go slow, feel it out, and if you feel any resistance or anything weird, just stop. So now you got that plugged in. Then we're going to take this telemetry cable here, plug it right into the back of the module. And again, that's got male pins sticking out, so you want to be careful when you insert that. I'm going to take our flight battery here. Got our battery mounted. Let's switch on our transmitter. Let it, let it finish starting up here. Plug in that. I know I keep talking about this FR Sky module with the telemetry, but this is one of the cooler things that 3DR has done with this X8. Um, if you hold down the down arrow, the down key on this transmitter. Now you've got all your PixHawk flight data displayed right on the radio. It's your altitude, ground speed, distance to home, numbers, satellites, flight pack voltage, milliamp hours used. Push down again. Again, latitude, longitude, and altitude. A really handy function that 3DR has gone the extra mile to, to include here. Now we're we're going to put some props on this guy and uh, take it out for a test flight.